welcome! I'm Julia and today we're doing a monthly reset for May. May is probably one of my favourite months so I'm excited we're here, although a bit baffled at where all the time has gone. I started this monthly reset by doing some journaling this morning. I did used to like journaling in the evening but given that the mornings are lighter now it's quite nice to do some journaling in the morning and it sets up my day. I do go more in depth about my morning routine in my realistic morning routine video so I will link that for you. I'm just doing my journaling and some gratitude journaling and then doing some reading, just a bit of quiet time to start off the day. So in the journal here I'm writing what went well yesterday, what did I feel yesterday, what's something I can do better today, a lesson that I learned from yesterday and what am I grateful for. I love going on a walk in the morning with the dogs. It smells really fresh and spring-like. There are so many different colours and different flowers coming out and the trees all have this lovely vibrant shade of green. So it's just such a peaceful way to start the morning, get some fresh air. While I was on this walk, I was thinking about something that someone sent round in one of the WhatsApp groups I'm in. They send round every day a morning meditation or just something to read through, like a thought for the day. And I want to read some of it to you because it really spoke to me. It's all about gratitude and I'm really big on gratitude. This is what it said. When your attitude is positive, you can see beyond the immediate into the very depths. You can see your needs clearly and then know without a doubt that those needs will all be wonderfully met and you can give thanks that they are being met. Never fail to give thanks. The law of gratitude for everything is a fundamental spiritual law. Can you be truly grateful for everything? Can you see the good in every situation? Try putting this law into practice more and more, especially when you're faced with a seemingly very difficult situation. What first appeared to be a disaster can become an opportunity, and you can be determined to make it a success by drawing the very best out of it. I'm back from the walk and I'm gonna brush my teeth and do my skincare. Starting the new month by keeping up with these everyday habits and making sure I take all of the steps that I need to take, brushing my teeth, I'm gonna do my gua sha as well, you'll see in a bit. All of these healthy habits, doing them as part of my monthly reset helps me to get the month started on the right foot to help maintain these things, which I know help me. It takes maybe 10 minutes to do all of this skincare routine, but I know it makes a big difference both <laughs> to the way my skin looks, but also it's just a kind of self-care practice, giving myself some space in the morning before I get started on all of the things that need to be done. So I'm using my favourite Sukin moisturiser and I've used the cleanser, the oil balancing one because that's what works for me. I'm now putting on the matching oil balancing tonic because I'm going to now do my gua sha. I know people recommend using some kind of serum when you do this but I do not have the money to buy, you know, a fancy hyaluronic acid or whatever people say. So I find as long as I just moisturize and then put on some of the tonic, it helps to make sure that there's no pull, no resistance as I'm doing the gua sha. I will leave a link in the description to the videos that helped me learn how to do this. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm probably still getting something about it wrong. You can see I'm just, as I go, reapplying more of the tonic. For 
some reason this practice feels really decadent or really luxurious. I don't know why, I think maybe because it takes quite a lot of time. But if you put some nice music on in the background, like some Lana Del Rey or something like flowy and calm, it just, it's a really nice time. Now I'm putting on SPF because we're in May and there is lots of sunshine. I think I already caught the sun over the weekend on one day where I didn't put on my sun cream, so I'm getting determined to do that more and more. Now we've got to do some work because as much as it is a monthly reset, there is still a lot of reading to be done. I decided to start the month off right by making some yummy lunch. I'm going to chop up some vegetables here, do some tofu and also prep some coleslaw. Just do some meal prep for the next few days. That feels like a good thing to do to start off the new month. So I'm chopping some red onion and is there any better smell than fried red onion? It smells amazing. Here I'm mixing the coleslaw, this is just grated carrot and chopped cabbage. And then I've got also for the dressing, mayo, mustard and apple cider vinegar. So simple, but I really love this. And then yeah, it keeps in the fridge for a few days. Perfect. I added in some courgette and some tomatoes here to the onion and it's looking really good. now going to move on to the tofu scramble. I will leave a link to this. I make this all the time because I love it so much. It's a rainbow plant life recipe. So good. Look at all of the different colours on this plate. I am well happy with this. Here we are with the leftovers. These are the prepped veggies which will keep me going for the next few days. Before I got back to some more work, I went outside. Look at all of these beautiful colours. Look, this cherry tree is coming out and the blossom is just beautiful. Back inside for more work and for dessert. I've got my favourite dessert here. It's just a yogurt bowl with some chocolate chips, berries, yogurt. Absolutely amazing. I have it all the time. And here I was watching some Lynette Adkins. I was watching one of her monthly resets from I think a year ago, but I love her videos so. It's quite a gloomy day, so it's not ideal for a May reset. <laughs> But because it was gloomy, I decided to make the best of it and put on my fairy lights because I thought that would cheer me up a bit and brighten the gloomy room, and it did. I also thought it would be nice to light a candle. That will help alleviate the gloomy atmosphere, but also it's quite a reflective thing to do. So I put this on and I started thinking about my goals for the coming month and what April was like. If I achieved my goals, we'll get onto that. I've got my habit tracker here and my ruler and my pen ready to do my new monthly habit tracker. I've also got my tea because of course I do. I drink loads of tea and the candle to give some ambiance. So in my habit tracker, I normally can fit in a couple of weeks on each double page. On one side, I do movement and how many steps I'm doing every day because I do keep track of that. I wear a pedometer. And then on the other side, I have my daily habits, which I try to achieve every single day. I've got seven or eight that I try and do every day. It's not that intimidating, it might sound like a lot, but three of them are tooth related. <laughs> Floss and brush my teeth twice, because in recovery, looking after my teeth is really important to me. The other ones are doing a certain amount of steps every day, and I get a gold star if I've done that. I also do gua sha, I try and do that every day, make my bed. So you can see here I'm just drawing the columns for my new habit tracker. Thank you. 
So on the left side, I do the movement and steps columns, and then the far left is the dates. And then on the right side of the page, I do all of the habits that I've said about my teeth and the gua sha and the steps. I'm just filling it in now. I can't tell if that smoke is coming from my tea or from the candle. Here we go, I filled in the columns now and you can see it was the tail end of April so the first line is April and then the rest is going to be for May. And I'm filling in the ones I've already done so we've seen I've brushed my teeth, I've made my bed and I did the gua sha already so I'm feeling pretty good there. I've got a good handle on those goals already. Look at this lovely plant, he's fully come out. I'm a bit sad that none of the other branches are flowered but I am happy that this one has. He's featured in my monthly resets in the past and not come out yet but he has now so that's good. It was a bit too gloomy so I put on my light as well. This felt a bit sad because it was just the afternoon and this felt very autumnal or wintry to put my desk lamp on in the afternoon but we had to do it. I've got my journals here again. I used them this morning to do my daily review and here now we're gonna do my monthly review. We're gonna look over what I did well in April and what my goals will be for May. April monthly review. Every month I go through my highlights of the month, my mood that month, any challenges that month and also I write something I thought I couldn't do and then I do my goals for the coming month. So my goals for April were to eat more veggies, do some intermittent fasting, two do my uni work, three go for daily walks with a 7,000 step goal and four stay connected and stay grateful. As I was reviewing this I've realised I ditched the intermittent fasting, that wasn't working for me this month but I have done well with my goal to eat more veggies, I've done well on my uni work, steps also good and stay connected, stay grateful. I think I have done a good job with that as well. So we've had quite a few successes this month and I feel happy with the progress I've made. For May, I decided to set four more goals as well. The first is to finish my degree, which is very exciting. The second is to continue with my star chart goals, my habit tracker, which we just saw. The third is to carry on with YouTube and creativity. I've put, keep going, you're doing so well, <laughs> just to give myself <laughs> a little bit of encouragement. And the fourth one is to do with food and movement. So veggies, walks and workouts. This was such a nice afternoon, sat at my desk with the lamp, with my candle going, reflecting on the past month, looking forward to May and all of the things that might happen. As I said, I'm excited to finish my degree, although I've still got quite a bit of work to do, so it is a bit of a stressful time at the moment, but I'm nearly there and I'm just trying to focus on the end goal and the fact that it is really nearly done. So this was quite a reflective, peaceful, calming afternoon. To round out this monthly reset, I thought I could do some spring cleaning. Um, I don't really know what to say about this. <laughs> I feel a bit, not ashamed, but it's I need, something needs to be done here. <laughs> I have so many clothes to go through. I thought while I've got my meeting on in the background, you know, my Zoom call, I could listen to that and go through some of this stuff. I'm not really feeling it, but I thought it could be a good part of a monthly reset. And if we're talking about getting the month started on the right foot, doing some spring cleaning or some organizing like this, just going through some clothes, I thought it could be a good way to start the month. So I'm just going through folding these things. I've got a maybe pile, a get rid pile and a keep pile. Unsurprisingly, a lot of the stuff is either going into the maybe pile or the keep pile. Look at this, this jumper. I don't know what to do about this. I think I might need to try that on. This was my dad's. I like the colours and the patterns. That's a cute squirrel pyjama top. I'm definitely keeping that. This green top I'm keeping. <laughs> the thing is I've got too many things and I do need to make a decision about what I'm gonna keep. Those black trousers are very handy. Definitely keeping them. Definitely keeping this t-shirt. I love that purple. This 
Smith's t-shirt there, definitely keeping. Beatles t-shirt, definitely keeping. You see there's a pattern, that's my favourite blue jumper, definitely keeping. <laughs> Johnny Marr t-shirt, definitely keeping. <laughs> this is <laughs> me being unimpressed because I've realised I've made no progress. I think I put two things in the get rid pile, which is just not, not good enough. Now we have here me looking at the pile of stuff I've kept versus this is my drawer where these t-shirts and long sleeve tops <laughs> need to live and it's already full and I've not put anything in it yet. So this was a bit disappointing and yeah, I'm not... These are the things that I thought I could maybe get rid of. It's a couple of t-shirts. <laughs> Again, I'm not impressed with my progress here. This spring cleaning is definitely something that I need to work on going into May because I think I have really too much stuff. That concludes this monthly reset. I hope this has given you some inspiration or ideas for a reset of your own. Please leave a like, a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. God bless, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.